this is the second day of the symposium, and for those of, the, of you that were not here yesterday, let me recap a little bit of what was said. We heard from several eloquent and yet detailed lectures yesterday. First from Dr. Alvarez, give us our invocation in the morning. Dr. G. Wayne Clough, our Secretary Emeritus, spoke about the nature of sustainability of Inca engineering, while Tom Delahaye and Terrence Daltroy spoke of the ideological element and the political and economic structure of the Inca Empire. John Oschendorf from MIT spoke on the construction of the Inca Signature Bridge and the technology and culture of roads, but especially on the famous Inca Hanging Bridge, which he has studied for 20 years, its engineering, its history. The veteran team of Ruth and Ken Wright told us about their work in Inca sites at Machu Picchu and Tipong, Inca water management, the design and sustainability of what they call hydraulic poetry. I really like that phrase. The study of Inca road engineering, analyzing grade and directional straightness and the many techniques of water force dissipation were detailed by Cliff Schneider, emeritus scholar at Arizona State University, and Christine Fiore from Virginia Tech. The team of architects and archaeologists comprised of Alejandro Beltran Caballero, Ricardo Mar, Craila Alfaro, provided the background of their new approximation of the design and construction of the ancient city of Cusco before the Spanish invasion. That's very fine new work, and you'll see it reflected in a very nifty Cusco table in our uh, exhibition on the third floor. Finally, Danielle Curran provided a bioarchaeological approach to the investigation of natural human disasters and conditions, how it can impact human bodies and populations over time, and what it tells us about the Inca world. It was truly a graduate seminar on the Inca world and engineering, and it continues today. 